So my name is Nick Cooper. I work at the Department of Psychology and uh, I use a lot of the equipment at the Centre for Brain Science. I use EEG and TMS. But one of the things I'm particularly interested in at the moment is something called TDCS, which stands for Transcranial Direct Current Stimulation. And it's a way of basically using an electrical current to stimulate the underlying cortex and depends on uh, what kind of current you pass through the electrodes and in which direction you pass the current, you can affect the brain underneath. Well, the nice thing about TDCS is it's actually a very easy thing to learn. Uh, basically, all you have to do is find out the part of the brain that you want to stimulate, find out where that part of the brain is, and then place your electrodes on it, and they simply adhere onto the head. Typically, we do behavioural experiments where you, be, where you measure behaviour before and after stimulation and see how that differs according to the stimulation. My name is Paul and I'm doing a Master of Research, which is an MRes in Psychology here at the University of Essex. I did my undergraduate degree here and so it was the natural evolution to progress on and do a, a Master's here. I, um, it's a particularly good university for research, for psychology, so it was an easy choice to make. My name is Dave and I'm studying a Master's in Psychology and it's accredited by the British Psychological Society and it's also a conversion course because my degree isn't in psychology, it's in philosophy. And Essex is one university that runs courses where you can convert your undergraduate degree into a master's in a different subject, such as psychology. My uh, MSc project is the role that the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex plays in decision making, specifically in respect to uh, risk-based decisions and how these decisions can be uh, influenced via neuromodulation. The reason I chose to do the, uh, the MRes is because it is the initial step into going and doing an academic PhD, which I'll be doing here at the University of Essex as well. So it has given me a, a, a firm grounding in research methods required to be able to successfully do my PhD. I think the thing I like most about the CBS is that there's such a diverse range of things to use, so many different tools that you can use and that you can also combine them in interesting ways so that you can use uh, TDCS with EEG, for example, if you like. You can also use, with our TDS, uh, TDCS machine, you can set it to be an alternating current rather than a direct current, in which case you can create oscillations in the brain and therefore you can then begin to search uh, into the actual meaning of what these brain waves are and by manipulating them in various ways and seeing how that affects behaviour. I'm one of those very sad people that actually thinks the brain's quite a, a fun thing and I'm afraid I even like just plain pictures of the brain and looking at the functional aspects. Uh, I also teach on methods courses as well, so I help in teaching with EEG, I help with teaching with the uh, magnetic stimulation and also with the electrical stimulation that we've just been talking about. The things I particularly enjoy about this MSc course is probably the interaction with the lecturers because most of them are also researchers and they have lots of fantastic research experience and they're often happy to talk about the projects that they've done. And I found they're always extremely helpful. Every time you have a problem, you can knock on their door and email them. They're always happy to speak to you. One of the things that's unique about coming to study with us at Essex is that it's, it's, it's very applied. You get to learn lots of different techniques. Uh, the fact that the teaching you will be given is very research-led so the people who know, who actually do the research in the first place will be the people who are teaching you and therefore they actually know quite a lot about what they're talking about. Uh, but the nice thing also is that it means that you then get to learn those skills from the person directly. So if you're particularly interested in one specific technique, you can approach those people and go and work with them side by side, learn the technique, learn to run studies. You can do this by volunteering or do this as part of your project in the summer. I wanted to come to the University of Essex because I was reading about their research department for psychology and there's lots of fantastic projects going on and that made me particularly interested to come here. And also it's a campus university which is set in a really beautiful area. There's a great lake and trees and it's really great to relax after a stressful day studying. Any advice I'd give for someone looking uh, to do a master's would be to have a look at the courses that are actually on the master's which you're, which you're looking at at different universities. Every university has a different emphasis, be it statistical or research, and make sure you choose a specific course that you are going to get the best advantage from for your future career.